longest, craziest year ever in my life and in Jimmy's world. We're gonna finish up the blue tarp special that will fly very soon. Oh, and yeah, we're gonna take the old silver bullet here and we're gonna fly into the Bermuda Triangle and see if we can't find some buried treasure for real. I am so thankful for Legacy Precious Metals. They've continued to support us in 2023 to help fund some of these crazy adventures. Call them to get smart answers, 866-916-3506. Tell them Jimmy sent you. They called me, said the airplane was leaking more fuel inside the hangar, so it's like a ticking time bomb and we gotta get this thing straightened out right now. So we've already got the fuel truck here. Uh, the guys said that we're gonna have to, they said we're gonna have to defuel this thing as well. So I'm curious to know just how bad it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got a bucket under it. Oh man, are you serious? Oh, look at that. That's the vent, the overflow vent. Yep, right there, look at that. Son of a biscuit. So now, got to figure out where that fuel is coming from, why it's magically producing fuel. And I do remember Clint, you guys remember Clint, the guy I got the airplane from, fantastic guy. He told me that whenever he has the tanks turned off, that fuel will drain from the main tank out there into the auxiliary tank. And so this is nothing new apparently. But whenever I park the airplane, I don't ever turn the fuel to the off position. I leave it on the main tanks. So I've never had this issue until now. And we kind of have to have them turned off because we're taking both fuel pumps off and replacing both fuel pumps. So that fuel line is going to be open. And if I had it open, well, then we'd be just pouring fuel out there. So it's kind of a catch 22 here. So now we got to take fuel out of that thing down below this level here so it'll quit siphoning itself into that tank. This door is a lot harder to open. That is a much more difficult door to open. So I gotta take that fuel pump off. What the heck are you drinking? The camera guy is drinking something that's really blue. <laughs> And do we just want to pull it straight out and then we can just push it straight straight in? Oops, all right. Parking brake is off. We're going to rock it. Or not. Okay, just let's... And go! All right, and... Stop. It's a pretty airplane. It's really dirty. Somebody needs to wash this thing. Oh! So I thought you'd be able to. So I'm just like, this on. I mean, if I have to balance it, I'll balance it. Yeah, that's good enough. That's stupid. Cobalt. Blows, really? <laughs> huh. You want the We're putting this back in the truck, right? Correct. I got it in mind. Devin, you're pretty good at that. Thank you. I was going to say, it looks like yeah. you, this is not your first time. Well, it's not working, so... Wait, there you go. You. There we go. There you go. See, you just had to just, you know. hold it right. Exactly. Let's see, at seven bucks a gallon, we've pulled out 42 gallons from the other side. Did we pull out that much? 42 gallons. Mm-hmm. So what's seven times four is 28. So that's 208 and then plus 14. two another 14 is 208. Call it 300 bucks. So $300 just out of the one tank. Oh, that is so painful. <laughs> oh man, just don't think about it. Don't you spray that all over me. That's, there's one. So we got to take fuel out of this. And then I still have to take that pump off. Oh man. Number two. So that's seven gallons so far. Okay, so you're about there. 
Yeah, we're definitely lower than wing level. Well, it needs to be... A little lower, yeah. Needs to be somewhere in this neighborhood right here. And I've got a measuring stick so we can tell exactly how far we are. This is my highly calibrated fuel measuring device. Stick her in. See, it's even got the red line on it. Wow. Oh, we got a ways to go yet. So it is. That was pretty good. Right to there. So yeah, we still got another bucket or two to go. It's like, yeah, it's like, kind of like we've done this before, unfortunately. You know, one of these tanks is more than the Lance Air will hold. <laughs> well, I'm sure the Lance Air is a little bit faster. <laughs> I mean, but not by much. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a pretty quick bird. It drinks a lot more fuel. And ironically, the Lance Air can go further on one tank of fuel than this, on oh, really? one fill up. Mm -hmm. How many buckets is that? I have not been counting. Five. This is the fifth? You've dumped in four? I think that's the fifth. All right, you want to see this, just how full this tank is? I mean, it's already full, full. Ah, it's going to be so gross. I'm going to get fuel everywhere. Okay, and I'm holding pressure down on it so that, oh. Well, let's get some spill kits on it first, on the wing. That is really full. It seems to be going down over here. You can see the fuel line where it's been up here. It's been all the way to the top of this at some point. <clears throat> and then this stick is magically, so if you go like this, it's now the distance for that tank. Huh. Kind of genius, isn't it? So 28 gallons. This will be the eighth bucket. That's the eighth bucket, three and a half. Do the math. I don't know, 22. Carry the, the six. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's push it back in. Okay, well, thank you, fellas. Appreciate Very it. Very well. Thanks for. Always an adventure in Jimmy's hangar. Oh, yeah. Yes, unfortunately. You know, I'd love for one of these episodes to be boring, like the other YouTube aviation channels. Oh, that was, that was terrible. I'm sorry. I got, I got four fuel pumps I got to stick in a box and send out to Tulsa, Oklahoma.
We got an awesome special gift from a viewer. We'll open that up and QAA box. <sighs> Smells like fuel pumps. First step, uh, let's finish morning coffee. We got, that's always a good thing. Boy, oh boy, they wrapped this thing really good. I think it's supposed to be solid and we've got a, uh oh. I am so thankful for those of you that have sent me things. Uh, the map, that METAR map uh, from Scott, that thing is awesome. I look at that every single day, uh, so thank you for that. The clear props, the Mountain Dew, the I've received books. Uh, Dr. Phil, of course, has received just a crazy amount of tools, all from you guys showing your love, and I am very, very deeply humbled in it, and I really do appreciate what you do. And the aviation community is pretty much the best community on the planet, and you're about to find out why if I ever get this unwrapped. Oh yeah, and then the hurricane relief. Well, I put the feeler out there in less than a week. You guys donated over $40,000 to that venture to help those people out in Fort Myers that lost everything in Hurricane Ian. And we were able to spend all that money, get them a bunch of supplies, and, and we're able to really, really bless several families. You guys are very awesome. And if it wasn't for you and watching these videos, there wouldn't be any Jimmy's World and we wouldn't go on the adventures that we go on. And I've got some insane adventures planned for 2023. I think we're gonna have to do some treasure hunting in the Bermuda Triangle uh, for real. Like fly, recreate some of those flights, uh, Flight 19, the Navy fighter one. And then maybe have to go diving, get on a boat, go diving, see if we can't find the actual wreckage in the airplanes themselves. Uh oh. Oh yeah. We've had a we've had a wing spar uh not make it. That's a bummer. How neat is this thing? Check that out. This is that from that profile. Looking at it that way, boom. How cool is that? The tip tanks, the propellers, it got the tail. I mean, all of it's right there. Covered over with a METAR, and I think they got Lakeland and Plant City right there. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lane's Arrow uh, is the name of the people that made this. Thank you guys so much. You are truly, truly rock stars. We'll get a little bit of glue and glue this back together. Uh, you know, the male people, maybe not so nice to this, but we will be. And I've got a perfect place on my wall in my office where this can hang. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lane's arrow for this gift. Truly appreciate it. Yeah, open it up. Oh, look at that, those guys hooking Jimmy's world up. That is fantastic. We got one for the whole crew. QAA, oh, you guys are rock stars. Look at that. We got some QAA shirts happening. Boom, and some hats. Thank you guys for hooking Jimmy's world up. Now to the main event. I didn't know. I was wondering why there was two boxes, but this one must be the, the goodie box. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, more boxes to open. Holy cow, they have really, truly packed these things. Unbelievably. Oh, yeah, here we go. Boom, fuel pump, FAA, PMA approved. Oh, yeah. Ah. Wow. I have never seen a packing job like this in my life. 
That is amazing. Fuel pumps are on, lines are tight, new lock washers, all that stuff is done. The weather outside is kind of crappy right now. Um, I think what we'll do is just go ahead and turn the fuels selectors on, see if we got any leaks with gravity, and then we'll turn the boost pumps on and see if there's any leaks. If all that checks out, as long as it's not pouring down rain, we'll pull this thing out, fire it up, see if it works and then do any adjustments we need to do. And I gotta go this way because it's windy. Look at the weather. That's, that. <laughs> Here, check it out, how fast is it moving? And it's moving really, really fast. Oh, that is awesome. You know what? Wait, did it say tornado watch? Hold on a second. There's a tornado watch right now. Tornado watch, tornado watch, special weather, special weather statement. Yeah, okay. Um, we're not gonna bring the airplane out right now. Back in the 310, baby. We gotta start it up, warm it up, make adjustment, check it to see if we get the RPM rise because a, a well-operating engine, according to the manual, says that uh, you go down to idle just under 1,000 RPM, bring the mixture back, and then the RPMs will rise, and you're supposed to get about a 50 RPM rise, no more, no less, 25 to 50 is what the book says. So that's what we're gonna do because it was burning super rich, and that's what destroyed the spark plugs or that one nasty one that left me semi-stranded there in Texas. Seabelt on because you want to be prepared for an unexpected flight. Just saying. Boom, we have fuel pressure. I like it. Okay. Crack that. Those mags are on. And everybody's favorite. Can I get a clear prop? Come on. Fuel pressure's coming up, that's good. That is the engine driven fuel pump, which is perfect. And clear prop. That engine, ready to go. I like it, sounds good, looks good, does its thing. That engine, I need to bring in the uh, mixture just a smidge rich and maybe the idle up just a tick. I think we're really close. Well, there is only one thing left to do. You guys know what that is. Can I get a clear prop? There's one engine, oil pressure coming up. All right, time.
Chopper number two, can I get a clear bro? Boom, just like that. Oil pressure's up, fuel pressure's up. Oil temperatures, all the stuff is working. I like it. Oh, I love this airplane so much. Yes, please and thank you. Oh yeah, these engines feel like they're running great. Fuel pressures are perfect. The test flight is always my most nervous flight because the number two killer of all general aviation pilots is a flight right after maintenance. And that's what we're doing. Beautiful weather, so it takes the number one killer out. Now we just gotta deal with maintenance flights, so we gotta be ready and prepared for anything that could and possibly will go wrong. All right, checklist time. Landing gear switch down, batteries, we've started it, we've checked it. Fuel pumps are active. off, throttle setting, zero everything is acting correctly. I like it. Magneto's prop vacuum selector, yeah, we checked that. Arbiter trim is set for takeoff. Flaps down five degrees, there we go. Boost pumps will be on, controls, let's check that. Through the full range. Yes. Plant City traffic, uh, 310 Echo Bravo will be departing runway 10, Plant City. All right, so we'll turn our boost pumps on, our mixtures will come up. Now, if anything goes wrong, we got lots of runway, we can land straight ahead. We're pretty light today, so we should be able to take off fairly quickly. Uh, if we get up and we get an engine failure, we're gonna stay in the pattern and come back around and land on 1-0. And we're on the Unicom, we got the other one ready to go. Traffic is clear, mixtures are up, boost pumps are on. We got a crosswind a little bit this way. All right, so there we go. Bring them up, everything is good. Engines all in the green, we are good. Let's give it the beans, woo! Yeah, airspeed is alive. Oh, she's trying to come off the ground already. 75, rotate up. Bam! There's blue line. We're gonna pull out a little bit of power. We're gone. He's got all of these views. Wind zero eight zero at eight. One zero mile visibility. Sky clear. Temperature two zero. Dew point zero. One nine alpha. Departing one zero. Five hundred. Wind city. One zero. Notice the airman. The cat's free ILS. Is out of service. The runway one zero glide slope out of service. Advise on initial contact. Give information. Yankee. Oh yeah. Everything is feeling good. Gears are up. Flaps are up. Engines are all in the green. Have I mentioned that I really like this airplane? Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Bam! Silver bullets, ready for action. What, what are we gonna do, though? I think we need a race.